Today's string report covers the new Ping G430 High Launch Clubs, built for moderate swing speed golfers. If you are one of those players, this video will be for you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, you give this video a like, and then you tell us in the comments what your thoughts are on the G430 High Launch products. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol of Second Swing Golf, joined by Michael Geiger here at the Tour Van Second Swing at Minnetonka, and a new one from Ping, uh, the High Launch Products Ping G430 HL. Uh, this is an interesting one, Michael, new addition from Ping. We really haven't seen them kind of jump headfirst into this sort of lightweight design um, space yes um as they are here with g430 hl so um it is a it's an area it's a market where there's there are a lot of golfers out there with the moderate speeds i'm just basically looking for any way to hit the ball further and do so a lot of times through more speed and that's what these products are designed to do. yeah i love this line i think at second swing we know full well you know you spend 20 minutes in our stores golfers are very different yeah. you know you see two fittings back to back it could be wildly different swing speeds wildly mm -hmm. different games yep. and so i think it's so cool that ping is coming out with a line like this that they're not watering down the technology it's the same it yeah. looks the same it, it, the technology is the same yeah. it's just designed for a different sort of player right and i think they also what they've really done with like you mentioned they added in the same technology but they also just blend it all together where it can seamlessly work all the way down from driver through the irons that it's all going to work perfectly for your bag. And so um, in terms of the, the specs, right? So you talked about the same tech in the, like, for example, the drivers. Mm -hmm. uh, there's the difference being this back weight, which in the standard G430 Max is 25 grams. And there's also 22 in the SFT LST. It's 11 grams in the HL model. Yep. And then in the fairy woods and hybrids, what used to be a 12 gram weight is 5.5 <laughs> grams. So that's one way they're removing weight. They also have a lighter grip yep. um, and the shaft Alta Quick, 45 yes. grams with the driver, um, or you can actually go down to 35 grams, uh, two different classes there. Sure. So um, there's a ton of possibilities here for them to basically reduce that weight and they really take advantage of all of them. Yeah, I'm really excited to see, uh, obviously um, the swing speed will be, you know, this is kind of targeted in about that 75 miles an hour mm -hmm. and below. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep that kind of in that range for yeah. today. Um, but like you said, the technology is the same. It's just in a slightly different package. Mm -hmm. And we should also mention too, in terms of what's all available. So you have, you know, a three wood, um, five wood, seven wood, nine wood in the fairy wood. Mm -hmm. You have the hybrids available, three through seven hybrid. You have your irons as well, which can be ordered um, four iron through pitching wedge stock, but you can also get, you know, the gap wedge, a sand wedge, a yep. lob wedge as well. So you have, it's essentially built for the moderate swinger. If you're looking just to get more speed, uh, and you big ping loyalist, right? I mean, this is exactly up your yes. alley. So um, we're gonna have Michael at some shots. Challenge for you today though. I know you're a fast swinger. We're gonna try and challenge it, bring it down into that mid seventies range, kind of where these clubs are targeted as, as you mentioned, and we'll see other performances. Let's do it. So Michael, I know this is exactly the same, basically the same head, but just why not? Give your feedback. I mean, that's, that's exactly the take. Like we mentioned, the technology is the same. The look is the mm -hmm. same. You know, just because you have a, a slightly more moderate swing speed, this is this is yeah. a ping G430 driver. Right. And I mean, you think forgiveness and you know high launch, you think ping with drivers uh, yes. over the years. So, um, I mean, it's I, I just it, I, once again, we'll reiterate the point. Awesome that they're going into this and offering this product. Yes. Um, in the past, they've maybe had the option to use the same head same stock head with maybe a lighter shaft um, in that 40 gram category but to make changes to the head itself slightly with the weighting and stuff i think is big Ooh, gosh it's it's interesting to watch you uh swing that slow it's but. probably good for my game too <laughs> Buttery though. I know it's good for my back. And we should also note too, this is, you have the 10 and a half, but also is available at 12 degrees. Yes. Um, so, which I will probably be more, um, I guess, the more popular lot of choice for probably. somebody uh, getting, you know, HL products. But um, first swing though, I mean, I think what the concern sometimes with players in this category is getting the ball high enough into the air and enough spin on it. Right. And I think that's a good start right there. I mean, again, you're not going to hit the ball 100 feet in the air with that speed. Right. But to get it high enough and to get achieve good distance, I think, is the important thing. Exactly. Is that the exact same ball speed? Oh. Yeah. It could not be straighter.
Ooh, it's very straight. Very. How's that feel? I mean, again, <laughs> we're, we've talked, we've already reviewed the ping drivers, but talk to me about the the feel anyway. Just it, give me your feedback. We have yeah, it's it's a very, um, very solid. Uh, there's there's just that hint of of, of softness, kind of responsiveness, but. Yeah. Um, I've been I've been super mm -hmm. impressed. Obviously, it's a slightly different feel than I'm used yeah, yeah, yeah. to in right. terms of the speed. Obviously, but the I mean I think the dispersion has been really solid, and yeah. um, I think it's doing exactly what it's designed to do. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like that actually. Yeah, that's a that's a good ball because that. Okay, so I, I need to, we need to show something here. So the, yeah. the face to path is 6.9, right? Yes. So you're, you, were, you cut across the ball. That was kind of that, that slice swing, um, which is not uncommon for somebody that probably play these clubs. Um, and just for the sake, I mean, you're, again, this is a rather wide fairway, but sure. the, the ball's very much in play still. Absolutely. Um, to see that. And the ball still maintained, you know, spun high enough and, and flew far enough where you're not losing a ton of distance on it either. Right. Um, so I think that's an important one there. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good one right there. Over 50 feet in the air. But that one's a good one because the spin is low, but it yes. launched high enough where it still traveled out there nearly 200 yards. At 75 miles an hour, that's probably what somebody's looking for right there. That's what, like, like we said, Ping is targeting kind of that 75 mile an hour range. I think that shot, you know, if you're at home and you're in that swing speed, that's kind of, kind of the target metrics that this club is probably basically going to yeah. produce. Yeah, I think, because um, talk to me about, you know, the ease of swing. I know again, you're a fast player, so probably not the perfect person to ask and and have test here, but um, just the ease of swing that club, turning it around, and then perhaps like there might be somebody out there, as you mentioned, that does struggle with a, a slice per se in right. this category. The ease of turning that club over and straightening things out because you had, you know, some really straight golf shots. Yeah, no, I felt there's there's no, I didn't feel like I had to work it at yeah. all. It, it's it's incredibly smooth through the ball, even though it's sort of solid, it's not dull. It's yeah. not, it, it's a kind, there's a softness through the ball you feel like the club is doing all the work. Yeah. And so um, I think it's for that kind of player, that's what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. they don't, they don't want to have to do a lot of work with their hands. They don't want to contort their body. Right. They just want to make a nice smooth swing. And this is yeah. what this is perfect for. Right. And it's, 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 it's amazing how subtle changes in, in maybe some of the components of the club, the shaft, the grip, yes. these, you know, the adjustable weights, you know, reducing the weight there can add up and become such a smooth, golf club to, to use certainly um, so now we can go into the iron here so we're going to test the driver we're going to test the iron um the iron's going to be an interesting one uh because the it's this again the same iron mm -hmm. um but again designed for a moderate swing speed so let's see how that goes let's see it oh wow See, and I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't really know what the target distance would be yeah. for someone in the kind of, you know, 70 or maybe under. I don't know. We know what they would swing here. Sure. Uh, I know Ping is trying to, for driver speed, at 75. Um, but it seems like that one launched pretty highly in the air considering the speed that you had. Yeah, that 54 number for height is, uh, I think that's pretty encouraging. I mean, mm -hmm. about 15 yards of stopping power. At 70 miles an hour, that's I yeah. think that's pretty solid. Look at that, even higher in the air. Yeah. So what Ping did with these, with the irons to make it lighter, the toe weight and then the shaft uh, tip weight are lighter. That's where they right. took the weight out of. So the technology is all the same as a standard G430. Um, just those pieces are a little bit lighter. Yeah. So um, that's where I actually, it kind of does make a little bit of sense with that toe weight lighter that you're actually hitting it out right a little bit, mm -hmm. where maybe that would square a little bit stronger, I right. guess, in the normal head. But still, I think we're seeing enough launch and height here that should be encouraging. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh yeah. It's consistently Again, going the same height. 55, that, that's the first number I looked at. That yep. 55 height yep. is, is really yep. consistent. Yep, you're staying right there. And again, because granted too, this is a, for a player that probably isn't going to be, you know, spitting the ball backwards on the green or, you no. know, anything like that. So no. I don't think the expectation should be like crazy stopping power here. But I think it's certainly allowing someone to, from a certain distance, because they're, they're, they're going to be able to land on the green and keep it there. Right. I think is the that's, thing, that's what you're looking for. And that's I think, exactly, you know, a 15 yard difference or like the last shot was 11 or 12 yards, plenty of room to land it on the green and stop it there, which I think is a very important component of these clubs for someone of this kind of player type. Exactly. If it's a back pin, you can comfortably land it on oh, the front yeah. of the green and that's exactly what this yep. delivers. Yep. 57. It's, it's, yep, same thing. Same thing. I mean, you're able to hit it high enough. The ball's, the distance is pretty darn good and the efficiency and, you know, the launch and everything. But I think, again, the, the concern on these clubs is going to be getting it high enough in the air, landing it softly enough, and I think it's doing its job in that respect. Yeah, that 15-yard rollout is, is very consistent, um, which, again, most greens are not yeah. smaller than 15 right. yards front to back. So that's... If you're playing a green, there, there are probably courses out there that have a green or two Somewhere. that are that small or that, that thin. Um, that's a tough course that you're playing, if that, that's the that, case. That, that or is. a course that I would not do very well on. Certainly, um, I mean, but yeah. most of the time, you can land it on the green and you have those 40, what is it, 40 feet probably to work with there. Yeah. Uh, 40 to 45 feet you'd have to work with. Um, so talk to me on the, I guess, the feel yeah. of that a little bit. Um, just getting your feedback on, the, I guess, the, the feel of the head, the G430 head, because we know it's relatively the same. Um, and the HL and the normal, but sure. feel in terms of and maybe the looks as sort of a game improvement iron. Sure. So starting with the looks, uh, it's it's a very just kind of classic game improvement looking head. Yeah. Um, it's very confidence inspiring. I think it sets up really well behind the ball actually. For even sometimes if it's a it's a bigger head, it it sets up a little awkwardly behind the ball. This one kind of it, it nice. sets up very nicely, which is which I really like. Um, in terms of feel, I think you heard it's it's a bit on the louder side. It's you get yeah. that kind of. Um, you get that kind of loudness, which I think a lot of players really like. It kind of, again, it plays into that, that confidence inspiring mm -hmm. look and feel. And uh, the, what I would say is the feel is very consistent, which I really, yeah. okay. um, you know, sometimes you look for one feels really hot, one feels a little duller. Right, right. This was very consistent, all five shots, very, very consistent. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna bring this up here too, because um, I think it's worth noting a little bit here with the seven iron. You've only hit four. Four. Um, but I think your first shot was kind of maybe not a perfect strike, no. right? Um, look at after that though. I mean, your your smash factor is very consistent, and like you mentioned, the difference between carry and I mean, you were at what uh, 15. We got the 12 here, 16, 16. 16. So, um, that's encouraging to see. Launch angle is plenty high enough for someone in this in that kind of right 28 degrees. Um, I think that works totally fine. I think that works totally fine. Yeah. All right, Michael, testing complete there. Um, certainly not a club that you'll put in the bag yourself, but... Not for a few years. <laughs> not for a few years. Um, but we saw some very encouraging things, yes. both from the driver and the iron. Um, and I imagine through the fairwood and hybrid would be the same thing. Just ease of, ease of use, um, able to launch it in the air, um, and able to get the height needed for someone in that kind of demographic to very much play in the bag. Absolutely, you hit on it right there. Distance, height, consistency, these were all checkpoints that were that were notched by these. Um, again, I just really appreciate that Ping took the step of, they're creating a club that, in all intents and purposes, is the G430. Yep. There's just these slight tweaks under the hood that, again, you wouldn't really notice if you were really looking for it, right. that make it perfect for that mm -hmm. golfer, kind of 75 mile an hour swing speed and below. Yeah, yeah, so let's, Kind of go a little bit more into that type of golfer. I know, sure. I mean, right away we know the, the speed, the target that Ping is going for is roughly 75 or lower. Yep. Um, but then go, diving even further, you know, maybe the type of player that will play these clubs that, you know, will come in the second swing and get fit here and will be like, I'm looking for G430 HL. What, you know, what type of player is that? Yeah, I think it's probably, um, you know, older in age. Uh, maybe you have, uh, certain you know a back problem and you're not able to swing it completely full mm -hmm. um i think there's what's nice is again at second swing we see 
across both genders, across all ages, there are golfers that fit into something like this, and maybe they've never considered you yeah. know, something, an alternative quite like this, but it's really perfect for that golfer. Right. I think another one too that um, we should mention is women um, as well. I mean, it's, cause I think, I think so many women out there think, oh, I got to go to the section of the store where the ladies flex yes. clubs are, um, or you know, the pink and the purple or whatever. But it's right. like, this is also, you know, uh, granted the shafts are probably longer, um, but that might be something to cut down or, you know, figure out the swing weight that you yep. need. But this is exactly a club that could work for you as well. Or even juniors or teens, you know, that might be still developing or growing in the game. Uh, you can, you know, adjust those shaft lengths if you need, what have you. Right. And the technology in here is designed specifically for players. It's all about the swing speed. It's not about who, like, you know, man, woman, you know, old or young, you know, it's about the swing speed that you produce. Exactly. And these clubs are designed to help you if you're in that 75 or lower range. Exactly. That's why we encourage getting fit because you can really dial that in. Yep. And what's nice about a line like this is it's just another tool in the mm -hmm. toolbox of a second swing master fitter to build right. the perfect set for your right. game. If you've been in the fitting bays, that's a gigantic toolbox with a lot of tools yes. in there. So uh, mm -hmm. golfers, make sure you get fit at second swing. G430 HL designed for those players with moderate swing speed. It's gonna help you get launchable in the air, get height, get distance, and play better. So Mike, Michael, thank you for joining. Um, great stuff today. G430 HL, big one for ping here. Very big.